You know, NFL, 65% of the viewing NFL games is women. I don't believe that. Uh, I don't know about that either. Yeah, I saw it. I mean, I saw it written. Did you get that from Bruce? <laughs> yeah, I got that when they were having their issues with beating women and stuff there to players. And, uh, you know, why would they isolate, you know, 65% of their viewership? No way, you What about 77, Tom? You're not in the 77 book either. 77, I had a four-lane call. Huh. You just, uh, just so happen to have a 72 book with your call in it. 72? That's what you said a while ago, or 74. No, I said 74. No, I wouldn't license a 72. I was only 12. But y'all keep investigating. Maybe one day you'll find all my call signs I've ever had. Oh, I ain't looking for them. You know how them corners are, Marty? You know, like Joe, they swap. Yeah. They get calls all the time. Hello, they do that and throw the F, Z, and Z off. Yeah, I know yeah. Yeah, I know. Joe's had like six or eight. I know no, I had, had a WN call. I've been on since 1974. I had a WN call, which was novice. Then when I got my technician call, I had a 1 by 3. Then when I got my, my advanced call, I had a 2 by 2. And then when I got my extra call, I had a 1 by 2. And I got all of them up on the wall here. You know, I got my technician and... General and extra and I had some call. <laughs> W84K, I'm gonna fix it or something. Well, you did have the option of going to the next class call. Okay, Gavin. For old Tom. <laughs> yeah, I think I was probably working up my code there, Marty, when you were still in diaper. Uh kinda of highly doubt that, Tom. Or you as a teenager running around with long black hair. Elementary school maybe. Big old long mullet. No, he wasn't old enough then. I was a teenager when I got my ticket. If I'm that many years older than Marty. So he was a, he was a teenager in 1974. I was 14. <laughs> Back in 84 or so, when I used to call into the weenie net, I had an N4 call with uh, Wilkie, but if Wilkie could ever remember my call. It was today, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, and uh, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Friday. Oh no, it's supposed to be a hundred percent since it rain here tomorrow. Oh lord, uh, it ain't supposed to rain Friday or Saturday. I am maybe it's Friday or Saturday, and all the way up to Monday. I think it's supposed to rain. Boy, when it rains, you don't want to. You don't want anything pulling in your yard; it'll bury up. Well, this is my driveway. I got an ain't a load of gravel on it. I can't afford to download a gravel ride at the moment. I understand. I know it's about me a load of gravel, probably by springtime. Five hundred and seventy-five dollars for a load of gravel. You don't know what I probably on this driveway. I probably put. I, I wouldn't be afraid to say I put twenty loads of gravel on this driveway and. It just, I guess it just sinks in the damn ground. It does. If I can seriously. That's a lot of loads. Very seriously getting me some three-inch gravel and putting out here and then going back over the top of it with that crusher run. Don't do no concrete up here. Uh, unless you're going to pay $175 a yard or more. Well, yeah, my driveway cost me $18,000. Yeah, concrete's the nah, most expensive, and then asphalt, my asphalted part of the driveway, then I cr uh, 57 and crush around the rest. No, no, North Georgia, you could pay $18,000 for a driveway. <laughs> well, that's what I paid, dumbass. Why are you jumping in there? And I knew you starting shit. Get the hell out of there. Hey, don't <laughs> we get on the river, <laughs> me, Paul. Me, me. I'm going to get on him there. I'm going to kick his ass, ass when I say well, don't we I'll, I'll give him some damn $18,000 I paid for my driveway. You, hey, Greg. Me, me, me. You go in there and just damn load your safe we're up there and load them damn NRA uh, targets up there, you asshole. <laughs> They <laughs> come out of the damn work work on that one. Yeah, some black on black crime in here. Eighteen thousand dollars. Well, that's what it costs, Greg. It's just it's real expensive up here, and that's what it costs. I, I needed a concrete driveway, forty feet of driveway. No, <laughs> Greg, you idiot. I think Greg got a Woody. He, he's gonna let y'all know how, how much he costs. Black on black, black on black crime in here. Dumbass. 
Got them back, Greg. $18,000 drive. Well, that's what it costs, Greg. What do you want me to tell you? It's expensive as shit. I mean, that, I was bringing it up. <laughs> It was just killing you to tell everybody. No, it wasn't killing me. Oh, yeah, it was. No, it was not, you asshole. <laughs> hey, Tommy. I gotta, I gotta stop listening. I'm up, about to piss in my pants. I can't afford it. I'm on a fixed income. Yeah, I can't afford it, buddy. He got $18,000 driveway. Well, well. Um, I wonder how much his driveway costs. Ain't gonna let you know. Get, you know what? You get no money on the. On My the God, he's gonna make sure you know how much that driveway costs. That's saying you couldn't afford eighteen thousand. No, not eighteen thousand. We, we do quite a bit. Fourteen, fifteen, eighteen thousand. Oh boy, you know he built a road, another road, and there's some chicken houses. That's what he did. He put that crusher run, uh, not crusher run, but milling, uh, asphalt milling. Yeah. How much did that cost? That hey, hey, Greg, keep it up, and I'm going to be all up in your shit at 4.30 in the morning. Why does he keep having to say that? What's good Stand is, by, Greg. Somebody's talking. <laughs> well, what's good is, uh, you know, when they're digging up a road like that, if it's close by, uh, hell, they'll bring it and dump it free. Yeah, well, some people How were talking, good? but some people were bragging. Hey, hey Greg. I'm going to bed now so I can be all up in your shit at 4.30 in the morning there. I'm, a, I'm just going to be all up in your business in the morning there, son, when you're trying to talk. I'm going to be all up in your ass there, you faggot. I'm going to stop over his driveway. You damn fucking <laughs> hypocrite bastard. I am, I'm man. I'm getting up at 4.30 in the morning just to screw with you uh, on the radio. It's not nice, Tom. I mean, you're right. It's not nice, man. Rick can't help himself. He can't help himself. Oh my God! He's the most miserable bastard I've ever seen on amateur radio in my 40 years. You think I struck a nerve? He's the most miserable bastard I've ever seen on amateur radio, right there. Oh, maybe I struck the a most nerve. miserable bastard I've ever seen on amateur radio. All right, Tom. That's enough now. Well, tell him to shut the hell up there, and I'll stand by. That's enough. Well, tell him to stand by. Well, he don't have to stand by. He's a regular. Oh, yeah, he's a regular. He's about as regular as he's taking a shit. Yeah, he's, he's a regular in here, and you're not. Yeah, so yeah. well, I'm about to go take a Greg, 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 trust me when I tell you this, because you won't leave my ass alone. I tried. I tried with you, Greg. I'm getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning just to screw with your ass on 15. <laughs> I'm going to shut your ass down on 15 in the morning. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to rabbit in the morning. Oh, put it on YouTube. It's put it on YouTube because I'm going to be all up in your shit in the morning. Oh. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Greg. But, Greg, you know, I tell you what, though. Hey, how about it, Joe Nathan? How about it, Joe Nathan? You got your ears on? Come on. How about it, Joe Nathan? How about it, Joe Nathan? It's a hit dog. How about it, Joe Nathan? Joe Nathan, you listen Come on in there, Joe Nathan. Jump in. How about it, Joe Nathan? It's the hit dog that barks. How about it, Joe Nathan, man? My buddy, Joe Nathan. How about it, Joe Nathan? I bet that'll shut your ass up. I think it's over. I think it is, too. Hey, Joe Nathan, you in there? I sure would like to know how much he paid for that driveway. Me, too. <laughs> well, I mean, it did, guys. I'm not shitting you. It did. It cost $18,000. I wasn't happy with that, and that was the prices. I was just mentioning how much something costs, but let me tell you something, Greg. Don't you sit there and talk about something you own or something you had to do. I'm going to be on you like a I, 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 I. <laughs> I'm going to be I, I'm gonna be on you like a bloodsucker, man. I'm going to be standing by like an old Cooper's Hawk on a perch, and I'm just going to be all up in your shit. I wonder, I wonder how everybody else is going to like that. <laughs> I'm going to be all up in your business, Greg. You better leave me alone. I'm going to take him to another frequency. No, I ain't taking him anywhere. He jumped in here. He can leave. Yeah, well. I got to stop laughing first. I'm about to piss myself. Yeah, well, yeah, laugh <laughs> now because you're going to be bitching later. I'm going to be all over you, Greg. <laughs> yeah, laugh now because you're going to be bitching later, Greg, I'm you little faggot. I'm going to be all over you. Hey, little faggot. Laugh now. out of here tonight. He just leaves me tonight. Laugh now, Greg. School, laugh now, Greg, you little faggot. Make it stop, Greg. That's not nice. <laughs> Well, you're right. It's not intended to be nice. It's 4 MRL. 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 It
1200 I How think you were good. I the mighty. All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down. i got to get up early in the morning so I can screw with Greg on 15. I'll see you all later in 1FM. I'm going to shut his ass down. I just said it's just funny as funny. Yeah, he didn't say nothing. You didn't hear a damn thing he said. It is funny. You didn't hear nothing he said. Why? You know why it's so funny? You didn't hear nothing he said. Nothing, nothing. Because you're not in there. You didn't hear nothing he said. Nothing. Not much anymore, Emma. No, you didn't hear nothing Greg said. That's for damn sure. If he wants to get up, let him. He didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing what Greg said. He didn't have to get up and try. He didn't hear nothing Greg said. He'll still be screaming and You know I'm getting over his ass. You know you didn't hear nothing, right? Four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, four o'clock yeah. in the morning. I'm going to be all, all four, up in four your shit. Four o'clock in the morning. You'll be sitting there hollering and I'm screaming and hollering. Four o'clock in the morning. Greg's enjoying this too much. No, Greg, Greg won't. Greg. When I'm in there at 4 o'clock in the morning, Greg will not get on the air. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so worried. Yeah. You should be worried because you're an asshole. Hey, Kevin, I guess I'm about to sleep. You know, there's a reason, Kevin. Kevin. There's a reason why he doesn't show up to the ham fest. There's too many people want to beat his ass. Don't listen. <laughs> well, no, only one. You know, he's a that. dumbass. And you know, he, he, he claims to be yeah. some yeah. kind of NRA firearms yeah. instructor. That's only one. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, I'm like, please do you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm an NRA firearms instructor, and I have a stapler. You don't sound like you're in and, I, and, and, and I hang with people targets, and, and I hang out with the civilians okay, there, and I teach up, them Tom, how to shoot. Good morning, Tom. You need to yeah, 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 I'm just, a, I'm just an NRA firearms instructor there, and I know all about guns. Good evening, everybody. WB for you, see ya. Well, hello, Nick. And one of them. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, he ain't having no fun there. He's being an asshole. Oh, this is so fun. He's way up past his bedtime. Go to bed, Greg. <laughs> The biggest dumbass I've ever seen on 75 meters right there. I just love him. Yeah, radio. I bet you just love it there, Mr. NRA firearms instructor asshole. It's funny to say, okay. Yeah, it wasn't so funny about a week and a half or two weeks ago. Tell us about that story with you and Joe Nathan. Boy, you was mad. You was angry. Oh, funny, Kevin. And in fact, you even threatened Joe Nathan. You threatened to beat Joe Nathan up. And that was funny as shit hearing Greg threatening to beat somebody up. Now, I've seen pictures of Greg on the Internet. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. Damn sure ain't beating guy. nobody Greg's up. Greg's a pretty good size damn youngin'. Yeah. Oh, hell. I ain't, I ain't small. I yeah, Greg, you look like you get winded getting out of your damn car. Damn. Uh, you've not seen him, I don't think. He's a pussy, and I'll tell it to his face. He's a I, pussy. I'd say if you told that to his face, you'd probably pick yourself up off the ground. Oh, no, I would not, Marty. Uh, I would yeah, not. You know better than that. You've met me, and uh, yeah, I would not I be picking you, myself little, up off the ground. Well, you're probably six foot tall, and I probably weigh, what, 250 pounds? I'm 6'2". Well, Greg's probably 6'4". Yeah, and he's probably a 6'4 pussy. Oh, my. He looks like one of them damn bodybuilders. Oh, hell, he looks like one of them damn fat slobs that eats popcorn at night uh -huh. watching TV. Like I said, Tom, you've not seen no picture of him. I have seen a picture of him. Oh, Apparently, well, you've not. He's got a picture of himself sitting in the damn chair with his family on, on Facebook, and he just looks like a pussy. I mean, he just looks like mm. a guy that sits around and eats all damn day. He doesn't do anything. He just showing what kind of an ass he is. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. I'm an ass. ass. I always know that, Greg, especially to you. Yeah, we're listening. Go ahead. Just keep keep showing you know, everybody you, you, what an ass the deal, you are. Greg. Greg. Deal. I've been putting up with Greg's bullshit oh, for about two years now, and finally I've just said, <laughs> you know, Greg. no more. No more. It's just not happening anymore. I'm not taking his bullshit. Greg has always been giving me shit for a couple of years now because he don't like me on the frequency. And you know what? I ain't going to damn place. And now I'm just firing back. And you know, it's just too damn bad. Oh, Greg, no, don't, no, you, no, don't, you dare, Greg don't you don't you dare, Greg? Don't you even think about it, trying to hurt him? Because like I'd hate to see you hurt that old man. Please approach me at a ham fest. It's, I, it's I not would that I don't that. like you on the frequency. It's that I don't I like would you at all. encourage him approaching me at a ham. Don't, fest don't, there, uh, uh, Martin. Don't, don't whip him, Greg. I mean, hell. Oh, no, Greg. He ain't whipping you nobody. Hell, he can't hospital. even get out of his damn chair in the morning. He you don't want to hurt that old man, put him in the hospital. He's here at 9 o'clock at night, Listen 8 o'clock at night. You know, he's just a, <laughs> he's just a piece of shit. Anybody still <laughs> wonder why? He's a like piece him. of shit. He's just a piece of shit. Oh, End I of story. Well, 
that too. I, you know, I was trying not to use that word, but yes, he is. I don't know. There, there's somebody else calling you a faggot. Now, I don't know what your preferences are, but, uh, well, you know. It's one of your butt buddies. I have no idea. I don't know who it is either. I don't know who it is. It's somebody that obviously knows you. I don't know. I don't know who it is either. There's somebody that obviously knows you. It's a buddy of yours or something. It's not a butt buddy of mine. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is, Greg. Greg it's you, all no. just funny as hell to me. So it is funny as hell. Right now it's oh, funny, yeah. Greg. Right Greg. now it's oh, funny. So enjoy your little laughter because right Greg. now it's funny. Anybody else trying to figure out why I don't like him? Here it is. No, 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 no. Don't try and bring other people into this, Greg. It doesn't involve other people, Greg. Oh, Lord have mercy. It don't involve other people, Greg. It's just me oh, and you. You better get some rest if you're going to be up at No, 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 Greg. I don't need any rest. I'll be up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed there. I think I'll just quirm the shit out of you in the morning. I'm telling you, Tom, he'll hurt you. No, he won't. Yeah, Brady no, Wood. I seen him, man. I seen him. He just looks like he gets winded getting out of his damn truck. Okay. Now, maybe one of his sons might do that. Now, he's got some 30-year-old sons, I think, or uh, kids. That might be a story, but then I've got some 30-year-old kids, too. But, no, he's just an old man that just gets winded walking around. You know, he walks his dog. <laughs> you know, that's about it. He hangs on the radio all day. They don't catch to that. How about it, Joe Nate? He's just trying to encourage you, Greg. Hey, well, yeah, sure I am. Come on, come on, Greg. I'm under his skin, and that's fun. No, to come on. I'm trying to encourage him. You're right, Mark. I'm trying to encourage him. Come on, Greg. This is hilarious. Yeah, you know, I like how Martin, you know, Martin's one of them type guys there. He's got the bullhorn outside the ring there between the two wrestlers. Well, Tom, I'll tell you one thing. I'm yeah. not scared of your ass. You what? I'm sorry, Mark. I'm not scared of your ass. Well, what's this got to do with you and me? And you're also 10 years older than me. And I tell you what, if you put your fucking hands on me, you better break my finger. I am. I'm, I'm 10 years older than Tom. I didn't know I was 10 years older than Tom. I said 10 years younger, younger, I said 10 years younger, Marty. Why are you starting shit with me? This is between me and Greg. I ain't starting out with you. I just told you I wasn't scared of your ass. Well, why would you want to be scared of me? Why, why would you even bring that up? What's that got to do with you and me? I can't wait to get this on grumpy old ham. Why would, what, what is, uh, Martin, why are you starting shit between you and me? Why are you I trying to pull me I over to you? I ain't starting a thing, Tom. Then why I would just, you even say that? I just, I mean, you and I, you but, and I, I what you are saying there, Tom. Friend, and there's no reason for you to even bring up about being scared. What's it got to do with anything? It's like I said, because of what you was saying there, Tom. Well, I'm not scared of you either, Marty. Well, so this is the what you say there, Tom. Yeah, but Martin, Martin, I'm not scared of you. You're not scared of me. That kind of makes it a wash, doesn't it? Well, it makes it whatever the hell you want to make it. Well, that's what you want to make it, Marty. I mean, this is between me and Greg, and you decided to dip your toe in there. I, mean, I didn't dip my toe in nothing. I was just telling Greg but not to hurt you. Again, but otherwise, leave me alone. Don't be talking about how scared you are. I don't care how scared you are or how scared you're not. It doesn't matter to me because I'm not going to fight you, Mark. Well, I know you're not going to because I'm not going to fight nobody. Well, then why is this a title, oh, Marty? Stick up for you guys, well, baby. It's a blow. Because of what you just said, Tom. You don't I listen to what you say 90% of the time. Martin, I was talking to Greg. Because you're all pissed off, Tom. That's what it is. You get all pissed off, and you don't really know what you say. Well, you know what's funny, Martin? When you get into your little skirmishes, you get mighty pissed off, and I kind of stay out of it. I don't. I don't. I'm just telling I was trying to get Greg to calm down so he wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> so he ain't going to hurt me. He ain't going to hurt me, Martin. Okay, uh, you know, the, uh, go ahead, Greg. Just, if you want to whip his ass, Greg, just whip his ass. Oh. Well, get, I tell you what there, Greg Leroy, if you want to whip my ass, you just get in your truck and come on over. Ezekiel is standing by. Well, come on over. I mean, if he wants to whip my ass, Martin, like you're saying he wants to whip my ass, he can come on over. Come on over. He can come over to my $18,000 driveway. Come on Come on over to the driveway there, Greg Lurie. I mean, it sounds, Greg, it sounds like you want to whip my ass. The station's headed straight to YouTube. Yeah, it will be on YouTube. Come on over, Greg. Come on over. Come on. Greg is a person. Is that what you want to do, Greg? Do you want to whip my ass, Greg? Because according to Martin, you want to whip my ass. In 4, MRL. In 1 FM on the 10th. In 4, the pity. Who the hell is Martin?
I don't know who the hell Martin is. Well, that's only when I get mad at Marty. I call him Martin. I have no idea who Martin is. Uh, 